by Jason Isabel in the 400 unit is going to be played in standard tuning. Um, and the way that I'll be showing you to play it is not using a capo. At the time of me doing this lesson, there are no videos of Jason Isbell playing this yet, so I'm having to guess as to um, what the voicings are of the chords that he's playing, but I suspect it's without a capo. Um, the chord progression is absolutely right, but again, without uh, a video of me seeing precisely what he's doing, I'm having to take some guesses, but I think this is a pretty good pieced together version of how you can pull this off yourself on an acoustic guitar. Uh, the song is being driven by electric guitars and pretty pretty awesome bass rhythm throughout the whole thing too. Uh, but again, for acoustic guitar, this should get you by. It sounds like uh, the beginning of the song is beginning with that riff. Like the chords to the verse is an E minor to a D to a C, and I'll show you how to just make, let me show you how to just make that chord actually. So if all you want to do is just know a chord, an E minor is an open six string, second finger on the five string, two fret, ring finger on the four string, two fret, everything else open. That can get you by for the first chord. The second chord would be a D major. Open four string, first finger on the three string, two fret, ring finger on the two string, three fret, second finger on the one string, two fret. There's your D chord and then the C chord. Uh, leave your ring finger where it's at and move with your second finger to the five string, three fret, and that can be your E chord. And if all you want is chords, E minor, E minor, D, C, E minor, D, C for this uh, int for the uh, verses, all the verses. But uh, what it sounds like Jason uh, is doing, or maybe it's Sadler playing this part, I don't know, but something along those lines. So I've got my ring finger on the second string, third fret, and my first finger beginning on the fourth string, two fret, and I'm going to leave the third string open, uh, and I'll start with my pinky finger on the one string, three fret as well. So I'm going to pluck four, three, two, four, three, two, uh, one time three, four, three, two, and then the second time I'm going to lift up my first finger and go four, three, two. Now the four string is open, and then I'm going to go with my second finger to the uh, five string three fret, and I'm going to go five, four, three, two, three, one, two. So the four strings being left open here, that's important to know. So five, four, three, two, three, one, two. Actually, I'm going to five, four, three, two, three, four, one, two. And sometimes the pinky finger might be left up there for the uh, open one string into the fretted two, but that's the intro and the verse. Which is an E minor to a D to a T to a C, but it's being played smaller. Um, and you may want to just stop with that and put on the new track and play along with it to get that feel. What uh, what's really driving remaining consistent is like the. notes are staying the same. The, uh, the E to the, what note would that be? That's a D. The E to the D to the D to the D to the C to the D. But it's filled in with the cross picking. I'm probably taking way too much time on that part, but that's how you play the intro, whenever and the intro and the verse. Whenever we get to the chorus, we're going to go to a G major chord. I've got my second finger on the five on the six string three fret. I'm letting my second finger just block out the five string. I've got an open four string, an open three string, my ring finger on the two string three fret, my pinky finger on the one string three fret. 
here it gets kind of strummy, like a down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. how I'm playing it again it's being driven by electric guitars it's very possible that they're just kind of one strumming a lot of these chords but for acoustic I feel like this down 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 up down up down 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 up down up feels good so G chord to a version of a D chord where you're going to emphasize the six string two fret that F sharp inside of this chord the way that I'm doing that is I'm leaving my ring and pinky planted where they are I'm pulling my first finger back to the three string two fret and I'm reaching around and I'm grabbing with my thumb the 6th string 2 fret. And I'm playing that as a D. If you don't want to use your thumb, you could play the D that way, where your ring and pinky are still staying there, but you'll put your 2nd finger on the 3 string 2 fret and your 1st finger on the 6th string 2 fret. If you don't want to use your thumb, but that's a real chordy chord as well, like a very fingery chord. Um, so either way, kind of difficult. Then the C chord. Same C chord as before, except for here you'll put your second finger down on the fourth string two fret, or it sounds like that's probably happening here. So second finger on the five string three fret, uh, first finger on the four string two, second finger on the five string three fret, first finger on the four string two fret, open three string, ring and pinky still on the third frets of uh, strings one and two. And then it goes back to the G. All right, and that's the chorus that repeats G to the D to the C. And then it goes back into the that part, which you would get away just E minor D to the C if you want to. Um, after the second or the third chorus of Be Afraid, Be Very Afraid, it then goes into a bridge of So the, the bridge is just an E minor to a C chord to a G chord. But the way that you get into it is this little walk down riff of. So the way that you'll do that is on the last G chord, one, two, three, four, and one. You're going, hitting the six string three fret, strumming up into the six string two fret, which you've moved and grabbed with your first finger. Down, up with your pick, second finger, six string three fret, to first finger, six string two fret, and then into an E minor chord with your ring and pinky remaining uh, planted on the third fret of strings one and two. E minor to the C chord, to the G chord. Repeat the little riff. Um, actually, let me back up. So, the first time through this bridge, after hitting this G chord, you can hear one of the guitars grab the five string two fret and slide all the way up to the five string 10 fret. And just kind of down up, down up, down up on that singular note before jumping back down to the six string three fret, six string two fret to hit that lead in back to the E minor. Listen to the recording and play along with that to get that, but it's the G, hit the G, slide up to the high G, and then back to the E minor, to the C chord. And the last time through this bridge, it sounds like it plays a version of like a D7 chord, but with an F sharp in the bass. So I'm playing that with my second finger on the six string two fret. My second finger is muting out the five string. I've got an open four string. My ring finger is on the three string two fret. And then my first finger is grabbing the two string one fret. And I'm just not playing all the way down to the one string. I'm stopping my pick before I hit the one string. Though if it rang out, it wouldn't kill the chord. And then it goes back into... And does that through to, I think, another chorus. And then uh, the last chord progression of the song is just a big D minor C, uh, I'm sorry, big E minor D C. And it sounds like it descends the whole time, so they may be playing it like, 
like bar chords. The way that bar chord E minor would get played is open six string, first finger on the five string, seven fret, ring finger on the four string, nine fret, pinky finger on the three string, nine fret, second finger on the two string, eight fret, to a D chord, which you would mute all the strings except for those three in the middle that you're going to play, the five string, five fret with your second finger, uh, the four string, seven fret with your ring finger, and the three string, seven fret with your pinky finger. That's your D chord, and then take this shape and just drop it down two more frets. And I'm using my second finger to just kind of mute all the strings that I don't want ringing out. Uh, first finger on the five string, three fret, ring finger on the four string, five fret, pinky finger on the three string, five fret or just standard chords. I mean, we're speculating here. We don't know exactly how, uh, what chord voicings are getting played, but these are absolutely the right chords. So B e minor, D, C is the um, last bit of the song. So those are the chords and the movements to Be Afraid by Jason Isbell in the 400 unit. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.